Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh One. This video is most likely going to be my last video of 2020. On Christmas Day, I am going to be uploading another video of me singing a Christmas song. I already had it made previously for another event that I was a part of earlier this week. I originally was going to do a video that was also Christmas related. Like, I think I was going to talk about maybe a certain Christmas special that was one of, one of my favorites or whatnot. But if anything, I, I guess I didn't really have that much to say, truthfully, to really make a video. Because I was always going to make a 2020 or talk about 2020 video to begin with near the end of the year anyway. So I just decided to bump it up to this week, if anything else. This video mainly is gonna be kind of me talking about what happened in 2020 and just how 2020 has kind of treated me, I guess. As we all know, 2020 has been such a clusterfuck of a year. And I'm not gonna go over everything that's happened, just a lot of things that's kind of happened with 2020 that's kind of made it a difficult year. And maybe I'll go ahead and talk about some of the things that kind of made 2020, for me, not too bad, if or made certain things at least happy for me, if that makes sense. So of course, 2020 arrives and everybody's always excited for the new year and we're always like, yay, we're hoping that this is gonna be better than last year or something. Something. even though I personally didn't think 2019 was really all that bad of a year. But the moment that I knew that 2020 was definitely off to a rough start was when we all heard the news in January that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. I remember when I first heard that story, my god brother, he texted me and said that Kobe Bryant just died in a helicopter crash. And of course, I didn't believe it, mainly because a lot of times when he tells me certain types of news, sometimes it'll be uh, fabricated or it, it will just be a fake or what have you. And I was in the car waiting to do another like delivery for Uber Eats and whatnot. And when I heard confirmation on the radio that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash, my mind was honestly just like, I didn't know how to process this news. Just that day when he died, in LA specifically, in LA, it was definitely a very, very gloomy day when we found out that he passed away in a, in, in a helicopter crash, along with his daughter and a few other of his friends and whatnot. Like, that was just incredibly tragic. The entire day, the sky was gray. It was gloomy. That was honestly kind of, in some ways, just a fitting weather or just like a fitting tone for what the day truly was. It was just a very, very sad day in LA. It was that moment where I just knew that 2020 was not gonna necessarily be that great of a year. It didn't even stop there because after hearing about Kobe Bryant's death, two days later, before I go to work, I find out that one of my history teachers from high school, which I have to regard as probably the number one teacher I've ever had in any years of, of, of me going to any school, she also passed away. I also learned like previous year in 2019 that she had breast cancer, so that took me by surprise. And then to find out that she died about a day or two days after Kobe Bryant, that was also hard. And, and then that was also definitely the moment where I was like, yeah, this, this year is, is, is already not good for me, you know, like just, it was, it was already kind of taking a little bit of a toll on me or anything like that. I was just like, man, I, I do not like this year already. And then of course we go to the main event, which is this current pandemic with, COVID and everything like that. We all know how it went. We were all living our normal lives and then the story of COVID started coming in and then we had to start not shaking each other's hand or hugging each other, but we were still able to be within distance of each other. We were still able to hang out. We would just have to elbow bump each other when we greet or what have you. We would have to wash our hands more often. And then it got to the point where we had to socially distance and start wearing a mask and all that other stuff. And of course, you know, for certain people, for a lot of people, it would, it was tough to adapt to, but some of us were 
like, okay, well, if that's what we got to do, we got to do. And then, of course, this was the year where I lost my job due to coronavirus and everybody was going on lockdown and, well, not me getting coronavirus, but, you know, just the whole, the pandemic in general because I never was positive for it. But just with, um, you know, lockdown, shutdowns, and businesses had to close a lot early because we had uh, curfews for what time we needed to be home. Uh, a lot of businesses were also, like, like cutting their staff in half, which is still happening today, especially with the current surge right now. And there was a lot of things that I was looking forward to that I wasn't able to do. Like there was a certain show that was coming to LA that I wanted to see that I already saw on Broadway, but I wanted to see because certainly still one of my more favorite musicals right now that was canceled. The entire tour got canceled. So that completely bummed me out. And it also bummed me out that I wasn't able to do any sort of live theater or see any live theater. I was also in the midst of rehearsing for a show that was to be played in Hollywood, but that completely got canceled for my 24th birthday. And it wasn't going to happen the month that I turned 24. It was going to happen, I think, in late August or the first week of September. I was actually planning and getting ready to save money to go over to Orlando, Florida, so I could have like an entire week to go to uh, Disney World. I mean, because I've already been there before, but it's been like 10 years now going to be 11 years since I've been to Disney World and I do miss going to Orlando. Uh, so that was something that I was planning for my 24th birthday. And hopefully we could do something like that next year again. If I got to be honest with you, I'm kind of very doubtful on that too, because with everything that's been happening with 2020, when it came to the pandemic, when it comes to all of these things having to be canceled, all these people continuously getting infected with the coronavirus and all these people dying from the coronavirus and stuff. And just the fact that we have these surges and then it starts to curve and then it goes down and then we kind of still make the wrong decisions and then it goes back up then it curves a bit, and now it's just surging like crazy in this current time right now. And now, when it comes to that, I'm not really quite sure where we're going to be <laughs> next year. Because, of course, you know, with next year, with 2021, we're all looking to that as the year where everything's going to be better, uh, to the year where... The coronavirus is going to start going away. We got a vaccine and we got a new president and all this other stuff. I just don't know how much better 2021 truly is going to be from 2020. We're still going to be in this pandemic for a long time because we are having a huge surge right now in cases. And then you also just have the fact that even with the vaccine going out there, you're not going to really have a lot of people that are going to want to take it. You're still going to have a lot of people that don't want to wear a mask, that don't want to social distance. Let's also consider that the U.S. is literally the worst country right now in terms of cases and deaths. For other countries, 2021 may be a much better year, but for America, it's going to take a while for us to get back to any sort of normalcy it's gonna take a while for us to be able to go back and hang out with our friends or for california for us to be able to go back to a concert or go back to a game go back to a theme park go back to the movies to live theater and for me as somebody who is a actor and who also loves going to live theater that part really <laughs> really hurts you know not being able to perform you know just being able to be on the stage or just to be able to see live theater you know like for for me that definitely hurts and like you know i i can't wait to be able to go back to those days honestly and and i, I don't know when that's gonna be i i just do not see it happening in 2021 i, I would love to be more optimistic but to be truthfully honest with you i don't really know where I am on the scale of being optimistic or the scale of being pessimistic. I don't know if 2021 really will be the year where we can start going back to a little bit of normalcy or if it's going to even happen in 2022. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, I, I, yeah, I say that a lot in terms of this channel, in terms of like shows and whatnot, but it truly with this, we, we just, we're just going to have to wait it out and see exactly what happens. There is one thing that I do have to say, and since we're kind of getting close to the end of this video, I would like to at least try to end it on a positive note, I guess, or, you know, maybe talk about the positives and whatnot. 
for me in my personal life when it came to 2020 like certain things definitely were affected like 100 like again me not being able to go to orlando for my birthday or me not being able to hang out with friends me not being able to go to certain theme parks that are in southern california or me being able to you know do a lot of things that i would like to do just freely if that makes sense um, but the thing is, you know, there's a lot of people that have it way worse than me. There's a lot of people out there that had COVID. There's a lot of people that are still suffering from the effects of COVID. There's a lot of people who lost loved and dear ones from COVID. There's also a lot of people who are not able to afford rent and, and everything like that. A lot of people who lost jobs. I'm one of them who lost jobs because of this pandemic. And I, I have to say, if anything, like, you know, I, I my heart truly goes out to all those people who've lost, who's been really, really affected by this pandemic and just by this virus, you know, because I can complain about certain things that's happened in my life for 2020, but there's people that have had that has had it way worse than I have. And if anything, I got to say, I'm grateful that I haven't gotten it really bad right now. Also grateful that everybody that I know has been safe, everyone that I know hasn't gotten the coronavirus, and as far as I know, there's most people that I know who haven't known anyone that's lost somebody to this virus, so if anything, I'm definitely grateful for that. I hate what happened in this year and what it's really brought a lot of people, but in terms of my personal life, like what I was able to do and whatnot, um, I can't say I hate 2020 all that much because I was still able to do a lot of things, you know, like I was still able to travel. I went to Las Vegas and Utah a little, uh, earlier this year in, uh, August or September, I believe. No, I think it was in October. I went to Vegas and Utah. We did a little like road trip and that was, that was pretty nice. And then I was able to go all off to like Knott's Berry Farm and they were doing like these food, festivals and you know you were able to like taste different types of food items that they'd make it would be themed to like a uh, halloween christmas or just like themed to certain lands i think that they had like ghost town and uh boardwalk and all that kind of stuff and, and you know if you don't know Knott's Berry farm you, you have no idea what i'm talking about but that's you know that was kind of the stuff i was able to do um you know and then you know me being able to get into voice acting i got one paying gig for like a show that I used to do when I was uh, performing with uh, uh, this theater group and we were traveling to like elementary schools and we were kind of, you know, it was an educational show and stuff and we were able to turn that show into a cartoon. And so we were able to, you know, since kids are now doing like socially distant online learning at home, now we're able to pr put on that performance at home. Uh, so that still gives me an outlet there and I'll be getting paid for that. <laughs> but also there's, you know, just the fact that I'm doing a lot of projects in terms of my voice acting, like I got into voice acting. And so now that's kind of like a new direction that I have at least this year, because as an actor myself, I want to continue to act because I can't do short films and because I can't do, uh, stage acting anymore right now because of this pandemic. The, the next best thing for me to do, if anything, is to do voice acting. And so, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of these projects and I'm very, very, very grateful for that. And hopefully this new path that I'm on right now definitely takes me to uh, new places. Just with this channel as well, like this channel has been doing way better than I've ever seen it performing ever like my videos have been performing a lot more i've been getting a whole lot more subscribers if you guys have been with me for a while you've known that there's been a couple of times when i've said i wanted to stop making videos on this channel i was close to quitting this channel a few times but you know just seeing the amount of support that i get from you guys for the people who've been with this channel for a long time or to the newcomers that have been finding this channel and been supporting me and everything like that it really 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 does mean a lot to me and, and I, I can't thank you guys enough honestly for this year it's been pretty great for this channel and like again it, it's definitely been giving me a lot of motivation to continue giving you guys a lot of content for this channel hopefully i can continue on improving and continue growing this channel. I really do wish that even though 2020 has been a very, very, very rough year for everybody, 
hopefully every single one of you guys stayed safe i hope every single person that you guys know stayed safe and i'm sure there's going to be some of you who uh possibly lost some loved ones due to covid and if you did i my heart truly does go out to them it goes out to you guys and there's been a lot of things that i didn't really mention like you know the whole george floyd situation and uh, again the election and stuff like that there, you know there, there were so many things that i could have mentioned in 2020 that would have probably made this video very very long but hopefully 2021 will truly be a better year again i'm still a little uh iffy about that uh possibility to be honest but if anything i do hope that you guys have a merry christmas and also a happy new year again this will most likely be the last video of 2020 that i will be posting i hope you guys uh enjoyed this different kind of video i mean i was definitely way more serious in this video and obviously i was being more real i didn't script this or anything like that J you know i i just felt like it deserved uh a, a real talk from yours truly but i hope you guys did enjoy this talk um if you did hit that like button subscribe for even more content and hit the bell to be notified on my next video whenever i post my next video which again as i said before earlier i will be posting a, a singing video that i did on christmas day uh so definitely look forward to that until next time and also until next year i will see you guys later thank you guys so much for watching and remember you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.